Hi guys and welcome. Whenever you want to go and put up a blog post inside Elementor, you probably have seen that they are locked and you would need to go and upgrade to a pro version which costs money. But in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you easy way how you can go and create those beautiful looking blog posts with Elementor completely for free. So let's get right into it. Firstly, we need to go to plugins and download one very simple plugins. I'm going to go and click on add new. And here we are searching for something called unlimited elements for Elementor. And it should look something like this. Now, if we click on it and check reviews, I'm going to go and click on one star reviews, the lower rated. We can see there are only seven reviews and you can see the latest one is over one year old. So we can definitely say that currently this plugin is working very well. You can see people are giving five star in four days, one week, one week, two weeks. So there is no problem in this area. So we can confidently go and install it now. I've actually tested it and I haven't seen any significant slowdown on loading speed at all. But I only use it for posts, so keep that also in mind and don't go too crazy with it. So now I'm gonna go and hit activate. And now we can skip this step. And here we can see all the post widgets possible. If you don't see it, you need to go and click on post widget. And you can see that there are some pro version, which you would have to go and pay for it. But we actually are fine with those free ones. Now, because I've already downloaded it, you're gonna see this area inside here. So you wanna go and click install on all four of those. So post carousel light, post list and post the blocks. Those are only three we're gonna need. Now I've already prepared Elementor inside here and I'm gonna go and recreate everything you see here. Now you can see by downloading this plugin, it has done everything for us. So now if I go and search for post inside our Elementor, we can see new additional stuff with UE logo in top right corner. And those are our post list. Now we can see that this is going to be a post list as well. So I'm gonna go and drag it down inside here. Now you can see that this does not look that good. But believe it or not, we can go and take this and create something looking like this just within few steps. So let's actually take a look at it. So inside here we have some general settings. We don't need to actually worry about it at all. Everything set up right. The only thing I would like to go and do is increase number of characters. That's basically those characters that are going to be shown inside here. After around 250 is just fine. But a very important part is a post query. When you want to go and actually show some specific stuff. Now you can go and include it by some specific terms. But what I like to do is go and include it by category. So this is very important when you are creating a blog post. Definitely go and try to categorize it a lot better. Because this can save you a lot of time. So for example inside here I want to go and put let's say soups. Let's put soups inside here. So you can see we have only soups there. But now let's actually change it. To change appearance we need to go to style. And here we can play around a little bit. We can see there's some grayish background. So I'm gonna go make it transparent so we don't need to worry about it later on. We're gonna go adjust some padding. So I'm gonna go and make the more size between it. So we can see by increasing to 50, it basically creates this specific pace between posts. So they are more separated. Now inside here, we don't need to worry about board radius or anything like it. We wanna go to content and place this actually to zero. The only thing we need to go and do is go to right 30 and left 30 as well. Now we're gonna go image, this is very important. You can see, we're gonna go and put it on 350 and 250. You can see it looks much, much better. So let's continue. Category, we have turned off, so we don't need to worry about it. Title is basically heading. So we're gonna go and create our font. The font for title we are gonna be using is called Laura. We're gonna go give it with size of 25 and we're gonna go and width of around 600. Now this looks really good. Color, I've already pre-made my color. So if you like it, you can go see it inside here and reuse it as well. And we can see this looks exactly the same. Now let's fix our text. So we need to go to text and I'm going to click on text. And here we are going to be using font called Railway. We're going to go Railway and put this on size 14. Now you can see this starts to look really, really well, but we also want to go and add a button. So I'm going to go inside here, general, hit layout. And here you can see where it says button. It's currently on hidden, but we want to go and put it 
in content and let's fix the button. So now I want to go inside button and here start playing around. Now we're going to go and move it slightly into middle. So we can do it pretty easily. We're going to unlink those values and put it on left 130. We can leave padding as it is and we're going to go and also put top to 10. So there's a little bit of separation and border radius. Let's put it on around 16 like it's in here and change the color to my orange. Once again, you can go and copy it inside here. And this is really good. You can even go and change topography, for example, for font. I think I use Laura in here. And you can see how easy it is to recreate something great looking like this. And this looks way, way more professional. So you can see how it's the was. Now let's go and recreate this type of blog post. So firstly, we need to go and search for post. And these are our post blocks. So I'm going to go drag them inside here and we can see this looks very, very similar, fairly, fairly similar. So let's start fixing it. Here, only thing we need to go and do is put word count on 300. There's going to be a little bit more. And inside our post query, I'm going to go and set it up on random. So we see some different stuff all the time. Now, this looks really good, but let's also once again fix the style. Now, this is going to be really, really fast. We only need to go and put box board to zero so we don't see anything. You can see it would be orange like this, but we don't want it, so we're gonna go put it on transparent and we can move on. The only thing we need to really fix inside here is actually our text. So I'm gonna go once again typography, search for Laura, and set it up to 22 with light hand around this area. Now we also want to go and change color. So I'm going to go put it on our blue color and let's make sure that weight is around 600 as well. Now this starts to look really, really good like this. Here we're going to go once again, fix the text. So we can go click our phone and you can see this is very, very simple. The best part about this is that it will actually go and automatically update all the time. So now you can see this looks really good, but we need to also go and fix our padding. So we're going to go put it on zero and you can see it looks very, very similar. The only thing I would also like to add is probably more spacing for our heading and maybe increase this a little bit, but this looks really, really awesome. Once again, we can go and play around with it. But here is the problem with this specific blog post. You can see we want to have only three inside here, but it's actually showing us all of this stuff, which is good if you are creating, for example, recipe blog page. You can go simply put this inside there and it will show everything. But inside here, inside our homepage, we're gonna only show three things. So once again, I'm gonna go into content, post query, and here you can see maximum amount of posts. I'm gonna go and put it on three, which will show only one row. You can see it inside here. This is what we are working with. Now you also can go and for example, put only two list inside here, or even order it by one. Or if you like, you can go and put it for six. So if I go and put, for example, 12, it's going to be two rows of six. But we actually want to go put three inside here and three inside here. And this looks really, really good. The only thing we need to go and do is obviously change button and change color to orange and even increase a little bit of border radius. Now this looks awesome. We can go and move to this side. We are going to be actually I'm going to go delete this and now we can go and move to this side. We are actually going to be recreating the sidebar of our blog post. So now we're going to need post list. So, so let's make it really fast. Post, hit post list and drop it under it. So you can see it doesn't look that bad. It looks fairly similar. The only thing we need to go and adjust is actually go inside here. We're going to go get rid of this background content. Let's put it on zero. We can go and fix that later. Image, this is very important. We're going to go put on 125 by 125. It's going to create basically this square. And inside content, we can go and recreate it from top. So it has more place in here. I'm going to go and put it on 15 actually. And inside our padding, we can go and do top 115 as well. And actually put this on zero, sorry. And now we can see the square, it's a little bit separated. And once again, very easy fix. 
you're gonna go and fix it inside now i'm gonna show you a little trick whenever you want to go and create it for example i'm gonna go once again use a lora font put it on let's put it on 17 with weight of 600 now you can see i'm doing this a lot but you can actually go and save this as a preset so i'm gonna go and hit global font my my heading i'm gonna hit create and now whenever i need this specific heading i don't need to go and put everything inside there i can simply go inside this globe icon and search it inside here my heading and it will automatically apply it so we don't need to go and deal with it the same thing with color you place it once inside here you're gonna go create new global color and you don't need to go and type it anymore this is a little life hack for you but let's finish fixing this so text i've already pre-prepared this is it's gonna look something like this now as you can see i want to go and create a little bit more separation in here so i'm gonna go into content and start increasing this on left side and let's put it for example on 10. this looks really good and we can see we have easily created this beautiful looking sidebar inside here and now last but not least i'm going to show you how you can recreate this completely beautiful and professional looking carousel post you can see it's moving automatically and whenever you add something in it it will move with it so once again we're going to go inside our elementor and search for post now we can see carousel post inside here and I'm going to place it under it. Now you can see this doesn't look that good, right? Well, we can fix that really, really easily. So I'm going to go inside and fix timing. I like to put it on 4,500 milliseconds or seconds. And here also let's increase the number of items inside here to 250. I'm going to go and leave this as it is. And we can go into styles so we can see item radius we don't actually need it we can go and play with it later now what we want to go actually is go inside here go inside content background and change our content background to something completely transparent so it's taking the background of our site this starts to look really, really good and also let's fix our title now because we already pre-created this global heading we can simply go inside here it has a lora font and we can actually fix it i'm gonna go and put it on 30 this looks really good and we want to go and get rid of those stuff so i'm gonna go inside here inside layout and start hiding some stuff we don't actually need so we don't need arrows we don't need dots we don't need arrows we don't need dots it's inside here we don't need to show we don't need to go and show category or even date we only need title intro and button we actually don't need button as well so now last thing we need to go inside our title inside our intro and fix it as well so once again we're gonna go for our railway font and we can start playing around with it a little bit so we're gonna go and put it on size 13 like this in here and we can go and put leave it like this let's leave also line height like this and now we simply need to go and fix title color let's say blue and you can see it looks exactly the same the only thing we want to go and do is maybe exchange line height a little bit and maybe even go and increase and decrease it a little bit inside here but you can see it is really that easy to go and create many beauty but now this is everything you can see this is a very very easy free not this is easy free way how you can go and create beautiful posts like this inside your elementor without needing to spend a lot of money and the best part is it will not go and negatively affect the speed of your website which is a huge plus so definitely go and try all the stuff i show you in this video and go for something in here we have free carousel we have shown also how you can go make this post make sidebar post or even this specific area now i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it you can go and subscribe now if you like this video and you find it really helpful you definitely want to subscribe because you're going to find also additional content very helpful for you and this is everything if you like it also leave a like and leave a comment down below if it actually worked many people would actually appreciate it thank you for watching have a nice day and goodbye